Hello everyone, my name's Captain Jack and welcome back to Space Engineers. It's Monday and we're doing a mod review. This time I have the Space Mod or Decal Mod. You can call it whatever you want to call it basically. This mod is by Math0424, I'll put their name on screen now. And a link down below to this mod is in the description as always. You're probably wondering, in case you haven't figured it by the title yet, Jack, what exactly does this do? Well, it's sprays and decals, as you can see behind my character. Let's go into F6 mode, I can show you exactly what they are. Essentially, we've sprayed decals and 3D ones, in a sense, onto blocks inside of SE. Realistically, this is probably something that should be in the default game. Keen, if you're watching, please, you know, another update, we could have this. It's really cool. Anyway, you can spray different types of decals around. I've put skulls on my tires because, you know, why not? Essentially, this is a very cool mod. It's still very early in development. You do require a plug-in loader and some complex ways to set it up. However, if you do read the Steam page, it's pretty straightforward. You just need to get a decal patch and then load it in via a plug-in loader, which is an external mod you can still get via the Steam Workshop. Honestly, give it a read through. It's pretty straightforward. If you have any issues, comment them down below or come into my Discord server and I'll be able to help you out. If not, do let, know, uh, do let the modder know as well. Okay, now I've just overwhelmed you with information there. So what does this mod actually do? Well, pretty straightforward. You can just put decals on stuff. It's kind of like not rocket science. I, mean, like, I even got some blood over here. But essentially, we can put stuff anywhere. So this is on my test wall right now. So I've got my hotkey set up differently. But if we just enter chat a minute, we do shift control. Uh, it was no shift control. This one. But, uh, it appears the key binds there didn't quite work. So if we enter into chat and do shift control of that one, bang, it brings up the menu to the right side, right hand side here. Now the key binds are a little bit finicky. You may have to rebind them. So in case you can't get the mod to work the first time around, here's how you do it. So we'll quickly close that menu there. What you do is you press enter. Now you'll have a rich, mark, a rich HUD and sort of text menu API already loaded in. So you press F2, go to open rich HUD terminal, and the sprays already here. You just need to click this drop down thing here. Sprays, binds, then control to whatever you want. You can bind to whatever you want. If you want to change it, you can do. This is what I've currently got it set here. It works. So yeah. So we need to press this shift control and that one on. So that's pretty straightforward. So we go shift control, boot bracket. Here we go. We can now select a spray to play around with. So you're probably thinking, what, what can we do? We need like something decorative, don't we? We've got blood. We don't really want blood. We've got any meme ones around here. I know there's one a lot of you will find very funny. So let's see if we can. Here we go. This is what we need. Isn't it? You know, if we walk over here, yep, yes it is. So shift control and plus, we can have a big mark face on the wall. There we go. This is exactly the content we subscribe for here in Space Engineers. You can put Mark's face on anything. So open the menu again. Uh, what else can we get? And I have to go into ends to do this. We get the Keens. We get a Battlestar logo, an Aperture logo. What else we got? We got Starfleet logo as well. There's a Whalen logo. There's a wrench. Let's take the wrench. I think this is a Mod IO logo, isn't it? Maybe it was just a wrench logo. I don't know. So we need to skim it down a little bit here. So we do shift control and minus. It does open up menu, but just ignore that. That's because I've got it bound to the minus key. Now, you're probably thinking, Jack, how is this going to fit here? Because it's sort of like overlapping. Uh, it'll just fit anywhere. So if I go, boop, it decals to there. Now, it's a little bit work in progress. You may see some of it won't show up sometimes. But you can create pretty cool and interesting designs here. You can decal pretty much anything. I've got a knockoff version of Eclipse here. We decal some warning signs in. It's really cool. Like, you can add whatever you want to it. And you think about it, when you're, like, building ships, it really does bring forward, like, what you can do and the possibilities. I think there was a war here. There's warning ones as well. So I like this biohazard. Let's get this one. We'll close this in a minute. We can put a biohazard. So we'll do this here. And we're going to say biohazard anywhere. And left, right click, I mean. Boom. There you go. Now, some of the textures do look a bit weird when you get super close up to them because obviously this is a bit zoomed in, in a sense. So it is how you take it. But essentially, you can put decals anywhere, or sprays, as I should be calling them. Now, the official mod, the one I'll link down below, the first one in the video description, is the sprays mod by itself. That's essentially just the loader and the compatibility thing. You will actually need some add-on packs to load in your sprays. Currently, there is a spray starter pack. There's a sci-fi font one for letters. There's a US flags and a world flag. I think I have, yeah, I have the world flags loaded in right now. I don't think I've found, like, a Great Britain one here. It's quite a long list to search down, but I was having trouble finding it. I found, like, the Australian one, but I, I couldn't find anything else. Also, now it's just gone back here. So, we refresh those. Do that. Okay, now, if we just, like, zoom down here, we might be able to find it. I I'm not too sure. There's, like, there's tons of... We got oh, here we go. Flag GB. Okay, it's GB. Right. So, this is also the flag United Kingdom, where I am. We need a good place to put this. Can we put it on the front of the car? That is the question. So, we need Shift-K... We need to rotate it around. Oop, that's the wrong one. Whoopsies. I, I think I pressed the wrong thing. Right, we need to bring it back up again. Do do do. Now, question is, can we turn it around? I think. Yeah, if you use the scroll wheel, you can turn it around. It's like if I position this nicely here. Hey, you've got a Union Jack there on the front there. 
Nice. So it's like you can brand everything. So if you had like your own ship, etc., you can brand it wherever you want. Now, obviously, I, I quite use the UK flag quite a lot, or there is the actual English flag as well, whichever you want. Don't ask me the difference down below in the comments. I'm not explaining it. Uh, but we can put this anywhere. So it's a bit finicky sometimes to get on here, but you can sort of just like rotate in and hope for the best. Um, where can we put this one? That is the question. Where can we put it? Um, we could put it on the back, couldn't we? Put it down here. There we go. So if we do that, Boom. I've got a UK flag on the back. It looks kind of nice, doesn't it? I've just been decorating the truck here with various bits of decals. We've got a flag around here. We've got the skulls on the tires. <laughs> you can probably put Merrick's face on the tire if you wanted to. But essentially, you can decal anything inside of Space Engineers, and it's really cool. Let's see what else we got. So we've got a Welsh flag. I mean, we're not using the Welsh flag. What else? Um, There's plenty of it. We've got a GR. Okay. Okay. Have we got any more memes to put around there? I, I feel like someone should make like a very good meme collection on the workshop. If you're a model and you're watching this right now, and you want to make this mod... Do you make a meme collection, send in, we'll spotlight it on the channel. By the way, you may be having your own ship logos, your own images, you can make them. Essentially, I'm already in the process of making an RWI one. There is an FAQ and a guide on how to make your own decals and sprays for Space Engineers. So if you want to stick a picture of your mate's head in the game, you can do it, essentially. As long as you have the image, as long as you follow the guide, you're pretty good to go. We've got a check mark in here as well. And of course, there's an eggplant. Naturally, because I am five years old, we're going to have to put that in here somewhere. Uh, next, we'll put it to Mark's face. That might send the wrong message and I might get in trouble. Uh, no, I opened the wrong message again. Whoopsies. As you can see, I'm a pro at using this. So there we go. Eggplant. And we need to, do, we need to make it big because, you know, can't say no to a big eggplant. That's going to be taken out of context. And there we go. This is essentially what my channel's become. Welcome to the Monday Reviews. We're now putting eggplants on things. What else have we got? We've probably got some more decals around here. Let's have a look. Is a meal? Is that a meal battery? It just looks dodgy. Yeah, it looks dodgy. Let's get it anyway. What is it? Yeah, it just looks. <laughs> Why does it look so weird? Here, Mark, have a battery. Ugh, it just looks. Yeah, I don't know. It just looks disgusting, doesn't it? Um, there's HAL 9000 only on PC. I think this is a joke. The fact this mod is only on PC, which is probably a good thing to be mentioned. This mod is only on PC. You cannot get it on Mod IO. It will not work on Mod IO. It's up to the developer if you want to try that. I believe he's probably already tried that. So if you're on Xbox, sorry, not gonna be able to download this mod. Bit unfortunate, I know. However, that is the way some things go. Some things are not made for Xbox. Right, what else do we have? We've got camos. So we can have camos around if we wanted to. We've also got green screens in a in a sense. Do you reckon I can? That's a question. Do you reckon I can make a green screen? We just green screen something out. See, if I had the patience to edit this video that well, I would attempt doing a green screen. Oh, it's not even. Yeah, it's not, yeah. That'd be hard to green screen that out, to be honest. Oh, well, I see your point. Let's see what we can decal on the ship a minute. I bet you there's some weird stuff we can put on here. There's got to be some like more decoration stuff we can put around. Decorative, there's blood. We don't really want blood. That's kind of a bit weird. Skull and crossbones? We could put a skull and crossbones on it. Question is, where are we going to put it? We could literally put it on the spotlight here. I didn't quite work out, did it? Um, <laughs> nope. Right, let's try again. Um, can we put it on the window? That's my question. No, it doesn't work on glass either. Okay. Then let's try here. This is like a, a process of trial and elimination here. Right, here you go. It'll work here, I reckon. There you go. So you can have a skull and crossbones there. It doesn't work on glass, doesn't work on this. It's probably because of the texture and the surface it uses. You can sort of see it behind here. It's on the grates ever so slightly. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Uh, okay, so yeah, you can kind of like guess where you want to put them around here, etc. It's really up to you on how you want to play with them. Either way, it does look really cool though. This is the Sprays mod by Math020424. Their name's on screen earlier in this video and the link down below is to the mod download. If you want to download it again just follow the workshop guide etc it's really easy once you get the hang of it make sure to read it you've got to install the sprays mod install, install the sprays decal patch and then got the actual add-ons to download the sprays as well hopefully by now there should be a couple more being made as well so by the time you might watch this video there might be a few more in the workshop vice versa etc just check it out and let me know what you think if you have any trouble let us know down below in the comment section do let us know what you think of this as well should this be a game feature personally i think it's something we could do with inside of space engineers i would love a way to import your own images and make your mods etc or even a live framework so modders can have these things imagine having like a giant rdbi logo on the side of your ship i'm currently building a massive warship and having a sort of logo on the side of there could be fantastic it's a dream it could work out either way let me know now i've been captain jack thanks for watching this video and i'll see you next time goodbye